Josh Allen and Baker Mayfield were on the field for the Senior Bowl. And Baker Mayfield apparently really impressed. Even though in the game, I think he only had seven attempts and completed three of them for like hardly any yards. Yeah. But I guess over the course of the week of practices into the game, Baker Mayfield, um, a lot of people are now saying he, he could potentially go number one, which mm. is stunning based on all the talk throughout the season was it was going to be Sam Darnold yeah, or Josh Rose. That would be that idiotic sounds, if the Browns took him number one. Yeah, but overall. that sounds more like based on Dorsey and what the Browns like necessarily than what the league would be. Well, also, right, but some of the writers who were covering who talk to some of the GM, say that. You're right. GM John Dorsey, who was the GM of the Browns, said about Mayfield, what I, what I was impressed with when he first got to Oklahoma, his teammates early in summer, he had digested the playbook and understood it within two days. And then the love and conviction that his teammates have for him, you can see and that. And part of what that is, too, is him saying, well, if his stock is going up, if you want Baker Mayfield, you have to trade up to number one to get him. Whatever the Redskins do, they can't move up. I no, we already did that. Absolutely yeah. not. You know, you can't move up. If anything, move back. You can't move up. And it seems like just the more and more as time passes. Here's the thing. People are thinking that transition tag is a viable possibility. The, the transition tag, when you add in the $10 million, is presumably going to go up. It would be about 17% of the cap, which is a lot. But if they if they franchise them for one more year, it would only be 20%. So it would really only be 3% more that they'd be giving them. Um, you know, yeah, except, it's a lot, but they could they could they could work around. Except it. that if they franchise him, he's, they're just he's gonna not, leave he's anyway. Not, he's not gonna sign a long term. <laughs> he's gonna play for the thirty five million and go. Okay, well, I'm gonna kill it both sides. I'm gonna kill well, it with the thirty five million, and I'm gonna sign a huge long term deal. And maybe somewhere. they could have some sort of wink wink agreement. With, I mean, I don't know. I don't even know how these negotiations would work. Could they have? Could they say, listen, we'll franchise you here with the understanding that you intend. To sign because we'll at that point have shown you we've have given you whatever it is seventy nine million bucks whatever it is seventy nine right. seventy nine million bucks over three years if that doesn't show you commitment to you I don't know what does we will consider franchising you with the understanding that you and your agent intend to come to a long term agreement with us maybe they could maybe that you know what I'm saying maybe his agent, yeah we intend to I mean we're going to correct he could lie but I think he seems to be a, a reasonable man. I'm, uh, you know, like a. It just kind of depends on what Kirk wants. It, it does. You know, we just don't know. It does. But is Kirk going to really say if they franchise him and gave him thirty-five million, seventy-nine or the last three that this team did not want me and never respected me? That would just be fake. That would be fake news. No, he couldn't say that after the three-year. He tags. couldn't say that. So then, why? What else are you looking for? But he could still say, you know what? I still want to call my own shot. That's true. I don't want to be forced to That's stay true. somewhere. So the only, in other words, here's the, here's what I would say. <laughs> As someone that and maybe would, he feels like he can't win here for whatever reason. Right. Here's what I would say. If if it's probably right. What I would advocate for the Redskins to do is to only sign to franchise Kirk under that situation I just described to you, where they gave an indication that you know what, if you do franchise us and give me give my client thirty four million dollars, you've shown me enough. You've shown that you want him. You've paid him seventy nine million bucks in the last three years. That that's a commitment, and we will find a road to a longer-term agreement if you do franchise them. If they have a spoken thing, mm -hmm. I would I would advocate doing it. Short of you can't franchise them and then lose them for nothing. You right. can't. That's why I think that they they won't tag him, but could be wrong. Yeah, you can't. And and, and let him go on and, and, case, and you know, root for him wherever he goes. And then in that case, if, if it, you know he's gone and at 13, one of those four guys is available. Fine. Fine. Mm -hmm. I would, I would yeah. advocate probably th dice, but I would say this. If they do not have Kirk Cousins under center next year, it would be my – I would take the approach just as a fan that we're punting a year. So we're, this is going to be a developmental year, whoever we have in there. Like, I don't think you can win. Seemingly, yes. I don't think I you can agree. win. I think it would be very rare that a rookie's going to come in and perform like Dak Prescott because we don't have that offensive line. We don't have that running back. We don't have mm -hmm. the receivers. You know what I mean? We don't have that. So I think it, if we draft a rookie, it's a punt year – a built development year. If we play Colt McCoy, it's a development year, punt year. I'm assuming yeah. you saw the tweet from Eric Galco from Optimum Scouting over the weekend. I'm guessing he was at the Senior Bowl. Mm -hmm. This is word for word. From what I've heard, and I asked a lot of people this week, it seems more likely than not that Kirk plays for the Broncos next year. And the contract details may, well, Matt be, may be <laughs> interesting. That's if he's agent. Right, but that's, yeah. that's assuming. We, that's 
the franchise. Yeah. So we have no idea if he's going to be free. Right. Or not. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? I don't if know. You're if you're the Broncos, if, it makes all the sense in the world. If you can make it work cap wise, I mean, the you skins have a defense, could say that. The you have a, a defense that sure, and you got two get you to good the receivers. And if you have a quarterback, you just plug in and upgrade your level of play. Of course, that's better than drafting somebody. But let's just say that McCartney and, and um, mm-hmm. Cousins. Cousins said, "Yeah, sure, we we intend. Yeah, we, mm-hmm. we could. We'll talk. Whatever." But I they still may not. Be, they still may not put they the, could put back forth out. the best deal. So they would say, "Well." We intended, but your deal's still not good enough. It's not going to be as good as what Denver's going to give us. Well, I think you would so have we'll... to be some further discussion and some possible framework written on a napkin of potentially, and they could say, you know what, if you came up with something like that, we could probably work something out. Yeah. Now, he, I'm trying to he... give you a scenario where I think it could work. Unless he really just wants to go play for Denver. All right, if he really just wants to get the hell out of here, then we're then just wasting our time. Correct. Then let's just do it.